Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how I screen capture Pro Tools using OBS, but more importantly the audio, how I route the audio. Here it is, I have, I have a mix, this is, I have a mix, I have here all, all my tracks and here you have all my outs. And if you look over here to these three final tracks, here, I have my master bus, which I named mix. And you can, you can see that my master bus is because of this symbol right here. Okay. This tells you the track type. And then here I have two audio tracks. One is labeled one, two. That's how I label my main, main out, like my stereo out. And then I have one here labeled OBS. So first let's start with the master bus. And I'm going to create the buses here, or I'm going to, I'm going to recreate everything but I need to leave, leave this here because then you won't be able to hear me so let's start first with creating a stereo track so here I'm going to create my master fader my stereo and here it is then over here this normally would be your audio interface your your, your two out your stereo out but we're going to actually put a bus in here and I'm going to choose let's choose you can choose any bus but I'm going to choose a bus that I already named Mix 2. And the reason I call it Mix 2 is because I normally call call it Mix, but since there's one already, I'm just going to call it 2. So everything going forward here will be 2 because this is how I'm recreating everything. Okay. Then I'm going to now create two stereo audio tracks. Two stereo audio tracks. I'm going to name the first one my Stereo Out which I call it one, two, but for this one, let's call it stereo out. And then my second one right here, this one's going to be my OBS. I'm going to put OBS two only because I already have an OBS track here. All right. So these are the only three tracks that you need to create for this to work. All right. Now let's work on the routing. Let's do first your stereo out. Your input is going to be your mix two. The same as your stereo so i'm going to go here i'm going to go to my bus and i'm going to pick mix two then my out my out i leave it whatever audio interface that you use uh, for me is monitor left and right for you it could be you know something else whatever your audio interface um, names it or labels it now for my obs my input is also going to be the mix two but my output it's going to be pro tools audio bridge to a one two stereo now where did i get that and how did i create that okay so if pro tools has this thing where they have auxiliary outs which is really cool and if you go to your setup and you go to your io settings you're going to see here auxiliary io you're going to click on that and now here's your uh, you know your extra outs or your extra ins and outs and here is pro tools audio bridge 2a you can call it whatever. If you want to call it OBS, that's fine. I, I just leave it the way it is. It's easier for me. But you can you can name it, you know, OBS out or, or whatever. Okay, so it's good. this is your output because remember it's going out of Pro Tools into OBS, so it's an out. And Pro Tools Audio Bridge to A. Then you're gonna click OK, and you're gonna click OK, and then that's it. So those are uh, that that's it for my routing. Next, we have to do a few things over here. Okay? Because, you know, if you know how Pro Tools audio tracks work, if you're going to record into an audio track and then play back, it's going to play the audio, obviously. But if you use input monitoring, now whatever is fed in there, it's going to play. In this case, your whole mix. So if you see, let me just turn this off for one second. If you see my actual one, two here, See how my input here, if I were to click on this, you're not going to hear me anymore because all my mix is being fed in here. That's how you're able to hear it. And the same thing with OBS. So I'm going to turn both of these on. And then the last thing you have to do is you have to solo save them. See how it's grayed out? The reason why is because if you happen to solo something, then you're no longer going to hear that. You know how auxiliary, um, auxiliary tracks always come a solo safe. See how they grayed out? But for audio tracks, they don't. You have to create that yourself. So you, the way you do that is you hold on command, and you click. That's it. All right. So now, whenever the audio is played through, if you happen to solo something because you're demonstrating a solo track, now you'll still be able to hear it. Okay. All right. So 
that is done. Now, there's one, a few more things. I think just one more thing that you have to do. And that is, what about all my tracks here? Now, when you create a track, it default, the output defaults to your audio interface, stereo out, right? Well, here you have to do a little bit of, of extra work. And you have to make sure that all your audio tracks are going out to the mix bus. So for example, uh, I'm gonna pick my guitar track right here. Okay, I'm gonna solo it. I'm gonna play it just for a second. All right, and you notice that my out is going to my mix, and, and, or, or mix too, because remember I'm creating everything, um, just so I can show you, but it's going to my mix. It's not going to my output. Because if it's going to my output, then OBS won't pick it up. So make sure that you go to your mix. So all your audio tracks needs to go out to that mix bus. Now, if you have auxiliary tracks within your mix, for example, like I have a drum bus, um, keep it the same, but just make sure that the out also goes to the mix. So see how my ins is drums? So I have like all these drums over here. See right here? All of these are going to my drum bus. And then that is going to your out. All right. So if you have a lot of tracks and you feel that you have to change each one of them, you know, you can quickly select a whole bunch of tracks. And then you can hold down Option Shift, click while still holding on, then select your bus and it'll, sell, and it'll change all of them at the same time. So that's the Pro Tools side of things. Now let's go to OBS. And in OBS here, what do you need to do? You only need to create uh, the screen capture. Since I'm using a Mac, it has a Mac OS screen capture. But if you're using a PC, then you just go to your, you know, select screen capture. And once you select it, then that's it. You're going to see the audio here playing. You don't have to, um, you know, go to your settings and go to audio. You don't have to mess around with any of that stuff. Everything will be ready here. And, and then that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And until next time, happy mixing.